Ralph Gonzalez Recto, born January 11, 1964, is a Filipino politician. He served as a member of the House of Representatives representing the 4th District of Batangas from 1992 to 2001. He was then elected to the Senate, serving from 2001 to 2007. In 2007, Recto ran for re-election and lost because, as many analysts believed, he had authored the unpopular EBIT, Expanded Value Added Tax, law. In July 2008 he was appointed to head the National Economic and Development Authority, but resigned from his position in August 2009 in preparation for another run for the Senate in the 2010 election. Recto won a seat in the Senate and was proclaimed as one of the winning senatorial candidates in the said 2010 Senate elections. He ran for re-election in the 2016 Senate elections, clinching the 11th place, under the Liberal Party. Early life Recto comes from a political family. His grandfather, the late nationalist and statesman Claro M. Recto, was a senator for several terms. His father, Ati. Rafael Recto, was an assemblyman during the regular Batasang Pambansa. His older brother, Ricky Recto, was the former vice governor of the province of Batangas. His late mother is Carmen Gonzalez Recto. His sister, Plinky Recto, is an actress and TV host. Education Recto acquired a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration at the De La Salle College of St. Benilde, at the time was a constituent college of De La Salle University. He entered the College of Public Administration of the University of the Philippines, Diliman to acquire a Master of Public Administration degree. He attended the program in the first semester from 1991-1992, but later entered the University of Asia and the Pacific to take an 11-month course to acquire a graduate certificate in business economics under the Strategic Business Economics Program of the University's School of Economics. He also took up a leadership scholarship course at the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University in Boston, Massachusetts, United States. Political career Congress Recto holds the distinction of being the youngest elected member of the House of Representatives during the 9th Congress. He also holds an unprecedented record in the congressional election history of Batangas for winning in all precincts, barangays, and municipalities, together with Lipa City, in the 1995 and 1998 elections. He garnered 98% of the votes cast in those two elections in the 4th District of Batangas. During his three terms, from 1992 to 2001, as a member of the House of Representatives, most of his legislative measures enacted into law deal with economic reforms and poverty alleviation, among which are the Social Reform and Poverty Alleviation Act, the Philippine Economic Zone Law, Amendment to the Special Economic Zone Law, the Retail Trade Liberalization Law, Regional Headquarters Law, and the Comprehensive Tax Reform Law. Senate, July 1, 2001 to June 30, 2007. Recto was elected to the Senate in 2001, becoming the youngest senator of the 12th Congress at the age of 37. In the Senate, he chaired the committees on Ways and Means and on Trade and Industry. Arroyo Cabinet. After his failed bid for re-election to the Senate in 2007, Recto joined the board of the Union Bank of the Philippines. He is said to be offered the position of Secretary of Finance but it was subsequently denied by Malacañang President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, on July 23, 2008 named him as the new Director General of National Economic and Development Authority, replacing Augusto Santos, acting NEDA chief. On August 11, 2009, he resigned as NEDA Secretary and Presidential Advisor for Economic Planning, in preparation for another run for Senate in the 2010 election. Senate, July 1, 2001 to June 30, 2007 Recto was elected to the Senate in 2001, becoming the youngest Senator of the 12th Congress at the age of 37. He chaired the committees on Ways and Means and on Trade and Industry. He was co-chairman of the Congressional Oversight Committees on the Proper Implementation of the National Internal Revenue Code NIRC, and on the Official Development Assistance ODA. He was also chairman of the Accounts Committee. 
During his first six-year term as senator, he was largely responsible for the passage of laws with positive impact to consumers, small entrepreneurs, workers and industry. Senate, July 1, 2010 to June 30, 2016 he was proclaimed as one of the winning senatorial candidates of the 2010 Senate elections. On July 22, 2013, at the start of the first day of the first regular session of the Senate for the 16th Congress, Recto was elected Senate President pro tempore, the second highest post in the Senate and was also the chairman of the Senate Committee on Science and Technology and member of the powerful bicameral Commission on Appointments. His legislative accomplishments during this period include authorship of laws on institutionalization of kindergarten, implementation of K-12, extension of the corporate life of the Philippine National Railways, PNR, increasing the tax-exempt ceiling on 13th-month pay, Christmas bonus and other benefits, mandatory full health coverage for senior citizens, additional benefits for persons with disabilities, PWDs, Pagasa modernization, extension of the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, ACEF, and the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, Modernization, Creation of the Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, and Customs Modernization and Tariff Act. Recto participated and was very vocal during the Senate hearings on Balakbayan Boxes scam, the Laglag Bala, incidents in airports, and the shortage of license plates, among other things. Senate, July 1, 2016 Present Recto ran for re-election in the Philippine Senate election, 2016 under the Coalition Ng Dong Matuwid of LP standard bearer Mar Roxas and won placing 11th in the polls. On the opening day of the 17th Congress, July 25, 2016, Senator Francis Escudero nominated Recto for the presidency. Senator Antonio Trillanes IV seconded Escudero's nomination. During nominal voting, Pimentel voted for Recto. Recto voted for Pimentel. After losing the vote, Recto automatically became the minority leader. He was joined by Escudero and Trillanes. Recto, in his acceptance speech for the post, vowed that the minority would cooperate with the Duterte administration's plans if these serve the public interest, however, he said, they would be, duty-bound, to oppose the majority's agenda if it hurts the nation. When the Senate underwent a reorganization on February 27, 2017, Recto, after getting 17 votes, was declared Senate President pro tempore, replacing Drilon. For the 17th Congress, he authored the following laws, universal access to quality tertiary education, comprehensive national feeding program, free irrigation service, ease of doing business, free internet access in public places, extending the validity of Philippine passport and driver's license, national ID system, and designating casinos as covered persons under the AMLA. Major laws authored, sponsored. Laws authored, sponsored by Ralph G. Recto, RA 10969 Free Irrigation Service Act, February 2, 2018 RA 10931 Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education, August 3, 2017 RA 10930 Extending the Validity Period of Driver's License, August 2, 2017 RA 10929 Free Internet Access in Public Places Act, August 2, 2017 RA 10928 Extending the Validity of Philippine Passport, August 2, 2017 RA 10927 Casinos as Covered Persons under the Anti-Money Laundering Act, August 2, 2017 RA 10868 Centenarians Act of 2016, June 30, 2016. RA 10863 Customs Modernization and Tariff Act, CMTA, May 30, 2016. RA 10848 Extending the Period of Implementation of the Agricultural Competitiveness Enhancement Fund, ACEF, May 23, 2016. 
RA 10844 Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, Act of 2015, May 23, 2016. RA 10801 Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration OWWA, Act, May 10, 2016. RA 10754 Additional Benefits for Persons with Disability, PWD, March 23, 2016. RA 10708 Tax Incentives Management and Transparency Act, TIMTA, December 9, 2015. RA 10699 National Athletes and Coaches Benefits and Incentives Act, November 13, 2015. RA 10692 Pagasa Modernization Act, November 3, 2015. RA 10687 Unified Student Financial Assistance System for Tertiary Education, UNIFAST, October 15, 2015. Co author RA 10665 Open High School System Act, July 9, 2015. Co author RA 10653 Increasing the Tax Exempt Ceiling on 13th Month Pay and Other Benefits, February 12, 2015. RA 10650 Open Learning and Distance Education Act of 2014, December 9, 2014. Co author RA 10647 Laterized Education Act of 2014, November 21, 2014. Co author RA 10645 Full Health Coverage for All Senior Citizens, November 5, 2014. RA 10638 Philippine National Railways Charter Extension, June 16, 2014. RA 10606 Amendments to the National Health Insurance Act, June 19, 2013. Co author RA 10533 Enhancing the Philippine Basic Education System K 12 Program, May 15, 2013. RA 10531 Strengthening the National Electrification Administration, May 7, 2013. RA 10378 International Common Carriers Tax Exemption, March 7, 2013. RA 10349 Revised AFP Modernization Program, December 11, 2012. Co author RA 10157 Kindergarten Education Act, January 20, 2012. RA 10149 GOCC Governance Act of 2011, June 6, 2011. Co author RA 9480 General Tax Amnesty, May 24, 2007. RA 9442 Magna Carta for Disabled Persons, April 30, 2007. Co author RA 9439 Prohibiting the Detention of Live or Dead Patients in Hospitals on Grounds of Non Payment of Hospital Bills, April 27, 2007. Co author RA 9422 Strengthening the Regulatory Functions of the POEA, April 10, 2007. Co author RA 9417 Strengthening the Office of the Solicitor General, March 30, 2007. Co author RA 9400 Amendments to BCDA, March 20, 2007. RA 9399 BCDA's One-Time Tax Amnesty, March 20, 2007 RA 9367 Biofuels Act of 2006, January 12, 2007 Co-author RA 9361 Lifting of the 70% Cap on Input VAT, November 21, 2006 RA 9343 Extension of RA 9182, Special Purpose Vehicle Act of 2002, April 24, 2006 RA 9341 Amendments to the Rent Reform Act, December 21, 2005 
RA 9337 amendments to the National Internal Revenue Code, reformed VAT and increase in corporate income tax May 24, 2005. RA 9335 Lateral Attrition Act of 2005 January 25, 2005. RA 9334 Increasing the excise tax rates on alcohol and tobacco products December 21, 2004. RA 9301 Philippine Overseas Shipping Act July 27, 2004. RA 9295 Domestic Shipping Act May 3, 2004 RA 9294 Restoring the Tax Exemption of Offshore Banking Units OBIS, and Foreign Currency Deposit Units FCDUs, April 28, 2004 RA 9282 Expanding the Jurisdiction of the Court of Tax Appeals CTA, March 30, 2004 RA 9243 Rationalizing the Provisions of Documentary Stamp Tax February 17, 2004 RA 9238 Excluding Several Services from VAT Coverage February 5, 2004 RA 9224 Rationalization of Excise Tax on Automobiles August 29, 2003 RA 9182 Special Purpose Vehicle Act of 2002, December 23, 2002 RA 9178 Barangay Micro Business Enterprises Act of 2002, November 13, 2002 RA 9167 Film Development and Incentives Board, June 7, 2002 RA 9161 Rent Reform Act of 2001, December 22, 2001 RA 8762 Retail Trade Liberalization Law, March 7, 2000 RA 8756 Regional Headquarters Law, November 23, 1999 RA 8425 Social Reform and Poverty Alleviation Act December 11, 1997 RA 8424 Comprehensive Tax Reform Law December 11, 1997 Co-author RA 7916 Special Economic Zone Law February 24, 1995 Co-author Personal life He is married to Batangas representative Vilma Santos Recto who is 11 years his senior, father to Ryan Christian and stepfather to Luis Felipe Manzano whom he legally adopted. He is an active member of Tau Gamma Phi. He currently resides in Ayala Alabang, Muntinlupa and also in Inisluban, Lipa. See also Axion ng Bayan Rosario 2001 and beyond Tau Gamma Phi References External links Official website Official Facebook page Recto's Senate bio